My name is Nathan Druffel, Application Product Specialist for Agco out of Idaho. Today's Feature of the Day video, we were going to be talking about drivetrain management, also known as TMS or DTM, and we'll also talk about cruise speeds on the Rogator C-Series sprayer. We'll start out talking about uh, our cruise speeds. We have two cruise speeds in field mode, two cruise speeds in road mode. Those cruise speeds are set by tapping on Cruise 1 or Cruise 2 box, entering in a speed, hitting the check mark, now your Cruise 1 is set. Same with Cruise 2, tap on the, the box, enter in the speed you want to go, hit the check mark, you're set. The second way to set these cruise speeds is with the uh, cruise engage button on the joystick here. So you hold your propel enable button, get going up to the speed you want to go, hold down your cruise one or your cruise two, and that will lock in the speed into your boxes up here on the screen. Once you're in your cruise speeds, down here on the armrest, you have these two top orange buttons. It's a speedometer with a plus and minus. You can hit those and you can increase or decrease your cruise speeds by a tenth of a mile an hour. These cruise functions are ideal for ma maintaining speed and your sprayer will maintain these speeds depending on field conditions. What helps with that is our TMS, also known as uh, drivetrain management or DTM. That is this button, the orange button with the gear with the A on it. The uh, DTM or drivetrain management takes your field conditions and combines that with your engine speed and allows you to run at a minimum engine speed until you need extra RPMs. This saves a lot of wear and tear on the engine and this also offers you a lot less fuel consumption. To enable your DTM, you press that butt button we mentioned, the A with the gear around it. Your little LED light will light up red. To set your RPMs on your drivetrain management, you hit your rogator twice, open it up to half screen, go to the wrench with the house, right here, minimum TMS. I have it set on 1650 which is the minimum for a liquid system you want it to be set on. If you're running higher, higher flow, higher pressures, you might want to turn that up, but that will allow the system to run at that minimum 1650 RPMs. The engine will stay there until ground conditions call for more engine power. It'll bring up the RPMs on the engine until it doesn't need it anymore, and then you can drop back down to the 1650. The uh, TMS is adjustable in field mode. If we go ahead and hit road mode down here on the armrest, you can see we changed to road mode here. We go back into the wrench in the house. It is set at 1,000 RPMs, and that is not adjustable. So as you're roading the machine, it will try and maintain the minimum RPMs again to save on wear and tear on the engine and to save fuel. Of course, if you come up, up to a hill or as you're accelerating to speed up to get up to speed with traffic, it will rev up to the, the full 2200 RPMs and then bring it back down. That's my feature of the day video. I thank you guys for tuning in. Remember, you can go talk to your local Agco Rogator interrogator dealer and they can fill you in on all the details of the new Rogator interrogator C-series. Thank you.